Hey everybody, I just wanted to share a couple things um, that I am so excited for this webinar this tomorrow night. Created, and this is like you guys in mind specifically. I just uh, created this resource with some printable um, information. And so we're going to have like an emotional wheel image, um, which is really cool to locate your emotions and a handout um, <clears throat> on emotional processing emotions, blasted food fallacies, teaching the drama course. And so there's going to be some recipes here too, that are kind of fun. So I just wanted to kind of go over the emphasis that I wanted to place on joining the webinar that's tomorrow night. And today I thought it would be a good introduction um, <clears throat> because the webinar's tomorrow night, it'll probably be like 30 to 45 minutes uh, to prepare for that. Just kind of learning a little bit about the emotional intelligence handout. That's one of the things that I will be covering. And you know, if we're learning about emotional eating, obviously there's emotions. And for the longest time, I didn't know that behind the urge or craving for the food, there's an emotion. And I mean, there's emotions for everything, but the recognition and awareness and allowance of that emotion, we can learn from them. And a lot of times we're just using a distraction to get away from the emotion that we're experiencing. So there are five steps to processing emotions. I'm going to go over these in better detail and more emphasis in the webinar tomorrow night. But first, is to name the feeling that's here and now. And I've memorized these and taught this to my kids because if emotional intelligence is really important. Um, the way we respond instead of reacting matters, okay? And so the more power we have through more self-awareness, the more um, we're able to respond instead of reacting in such a quick way. So one, name the feeling that's here and now. <clears throat> For me, it's sadness. My dad's a going to be passing away soon. Um, and it's, I'm so grateful. I'm not angry or anything. So it's really sweet. Um, so name the feeling that's here and now, where do you feel it? I feel it kind of like in my head and in my heart. Um, three, describe it. So you're supposed to describe the sensation that you're experiencing through the emotions of like tears. Um, it's, it's, throbbing or whatever the ing word is that could describe it and you really go into it and you think about it and allow it don't resist it so you feel the emotion four is to breathe in and through the sensation there are you can do box breathing for four counts in and then you hold it for four counts and you <clears throat> hold it one two three four and then you go out for four one two three four and then you go hold it out for four and then you go in for four, hold it in for four, breathe out for four, hold it out for four. So you're kind of like making a box as you do it. So <clears throat> then the last question is, what is the wisdom from this emotion? For me, sadness, what needs to be mourned or let go of? So I just wanted to share with you um, how to process emotions because it's the biggest gift. And uh, we can learn so much from it and from each other. <clears throat> I was trying to think of, that's what I would love for you guys to like memorize that this week. If you can process the emotion, like learn that chart, then I think it will really set you up for success for this week and to really make some changes on your self-awareness. So we're seriously going to talk about amazing things um, with this webinar. So be sure to join tomorrow night. And if you have anybody that's on your heart that you think would like to join, let's do that. And then, um, how is your meal planning coming along? Hope you guys are having a great day.